Uh, we're talking about the uh, the pizza logs, of course, the original pizza logs. Uh, business was certainly slower during the pandemic, but how are things going for you now? Uh, things are getting back on track. Uh, thank you. You know, um, you know, during that during that time, we uh, you know we, we had to furlough some people originally, but uh, we rehired everybody back, uh, and we actually increased our headcount from the uh, the pre pandemic levels. Um, you know, most of our, you know, most of our business are in stadiums and in restaurants. So the good news is the restaurants are coming back. So we're coming back with them. You know, the bad news is, uh, you know, we're no longer, you know, in the NFL, Major League Baseball and National Hockey League. Um, so that business isn't there right now. But, you know, it's disappointing because, you know, the uh, the, uh, the pizza logs are the official finger food of the Bills. And mm-hmm. it's just disappointing that they're not going to be in the stands this year when I think the Bills are going to be really good. Uh, yeah, we're talking about pizza logs this morning, and if you're not hungry for them by the time we're done, there's something wrong with you. Uh, Jason, um, you know, as a guy who is the PA announcer for the Bills and the fact that I love to feed my family these things, I am so happy that you guys are veteran-owned and operated. How does your military experience help you guys run the business? Um, yeah, thank you for that question. Um, you know, I'm a former Army captain and had the honor and privilege uh, serving with some of the, you know, the bravest airborne soldiers uh, on the planet. But uh, I think the discipline and the unapologetic, uh, you know, commitment to the mission has always sustained me, Clay. The, um, um, it's just been a great, great experience. You know, for example, our mission statement for pizza logs are to provide our customers, um, you know, with, with, with a great experience every time without compromising, you know, food safety or quality. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't deviate from that standard. I mean, I simply demand a high standard. That's what you learn from the Army. And, uh, you know, also I, I had the great honor of being a commander in the Army, too, you know, and that taught me to lead by example and to never ask anybody to do something that I wouldn't first do myself. So that, that's gone a long way for business and, and in life. And, you know, we obviously know about the pizza logs, but I understand taco logs are becoming very popular, too. I can't wait to try these. Um, you know, we saw the need during the pandemic. More people are staying home for frozen appetizers. Um, you know, so we launched this, this taco log in the middle of a pandemic. And I'll tell you, it's, they're awesome. It's, you know, it's our signature wonton wrap, taco beef filling with beans, blended Mexican cheeses, and a really dynamic salsa. Um, you know, it's, it, they're just, they're fantastic. You can, um, by the way, you can find those, you know, at local restaurants, on the appetizer menus, and of course, all the local retailers in Western New York all have them. Uh, anything else you want us to know about them, Jason? Uh, I just want to say real quick, uh, you know, during that pandemic, that was a tough time, a really tough time for our business. And I just wanted to literally just say thank you real quick to the people of Western New York because Western New York saved our business. I mean, the people that were loyal to our product, um, you know, helped us, you know, survive. And, um, you know, I also think that more and more people during the lockdown tried our product. And, you know, people from Western New York are supporting Western New York jobs. And and I just just want to say thank you uh, to all those that have supported us and continue to support us.